The success of a project can no longer be measured by the amount of money it makes. Could it ever, though? How much money did Jurassic Park Lost World make? Too much? Too much. So what is an NFT? Anyone? Anyone? Butler? I hope you are behind the VPN right now. The NFT people are psychos and they will get for you in the night. I mean, that is true, but that was not an answer to my question. An NFT is a non-fungible token. The layman's understanding is that it's a JPEG with a digital receipt backed by the same voodoo that backs cryptocurrency. A magical infallible entity known as the blockchain. If you haven't heard of them by now, then this is probably your first venture into the World Wide Web. If that's the case, you chose to watch Haunt Lich first? Weird. I would probably would have picked Homestar Runner or Hentai first. Well, thanks for being here regardless. Basically, some mysterious cabal of people on some Discord somewhere conspire to get everyone to believe that their NFT has value. Once they've committed some sort of dubious trickery, their NFT has theoretical value. Then, they get a bunch of actual retards to buy their NFTs and make a huge ass load of money. Then, the people who bought the NFTs have the NFTs and can only hope that one day they'll appreciate in value for some fucking reason and then resell them so that they can be rich themselves. Technically, the image doesn't even matter. What you're buying is the receipt, that little piece of the blockchain. Hell, apparently the image can be changed after the fact, so it quite literally doesn't even matter. Almost as though the entire system is made up bullshit to make someone a quick buck. From my best recollection, NFTs were an interesting way to commission your favorite artists and have full digital ownership of the art you paid for as well as owning, say, the actual print. Well, that lasted for all about one week before greedy assholes on the internet realized they could make a gajillion dollars in theoretical internet money at the expense of literally every entertainment industry in existence. I'm not here to talk about things like business ethics or the concept of ownership. Nah, I'm here to talk about the one thing I truly know. Entertainment. The Red Ape Family. The NFT. Cartoon. I'm sure you've seen these before. These monkey NFTs. They're actually pretty famous. Famous for what? Uh -huh. In fact, they may be the most famous NFTs. They're the poster child for why NFTs are total garbage and not actually related in any way to the ownership of art. The Red Ape Family is a cartoon made, uh, by, about, for, with, NFT monkeys. And oh my god, you guys. I mean no exaggeration. I mean no hyperbole when I say that the Red Ape Family might be the absolute Worst thing I've ever seen. And you know what's truly beautiful about it? It's unironic. It's genuine. It's sincere. And it's heinous. Worse than Magical Girl Friendship Squad by a long shot. Imagine the worst cartoon you've ever seen. And I'm willing to bet an NFT of my favorite rib that this is worse. This one's my favorite rib, by the way. NFT now available on OpenSea. Our story begins with... Bugger. Oh, fuck! Stupid, <laughs> nonsensical, goddamn yetis are at it again! Leave it to me, boys. This is the ugliest cartoon I've ever seen. Which is truly remarkable considering how much money went into this. Remember, NFTs are not about art. <laughs> This is not how space works, but honestly, I doubt this is the kind of project that cares about things like that. Maybe I should avoid getting too nitpicky. That's going to be difficult. This is a project that doesn't care about anything other than profit, a commonality you'll find with anyone and everyone involved in NFTs. NFT people are like Ferengi, except Ferengi have a code of business ethics. For example, look at this scene. Bangergames.com, play to earn, there's a Banger Games logo down there. And you wanna know something? They don't tag the video as having paid sponsorships because they don't ever actually say that this video is brought to you by something or other. Musk won. That's funny, because Elon Musk. Huh. Good funny. You flown this thing before, or, um... Well, actually, I had my first flight just last week. Long story short, ended up a little dead. Yeah, this is a good start. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, real good. So I... So are these supposed to be the jokes, or red monkey NFT is robbing a pyramid, which is hilarious to me in a cosmic sort of way. You could say that this is the red monkey NFT's pyramid scheme. I guarantee all the images in the background here are also NFTs. Well, guess what, bitch? I screenshotted them all, and now you can too. Come, haunt minions. 
We have art to heist. I stole the Mona Lisa. Butler, you're gonna have to put that back, man. What? Why? This was really hard to get. Because that painting has actual value. Oh, who cares? It's just a drawing. A painting made by a world-renowned artist revered by history, but that's not all. The Mona Lisa was a respected painting even for its time. The pose that the Mona Lisa is in is a three-quarter pose, which was novel for the time. And artists of the time respected da Vinci for his ability to produce such realistic paintings. It has value not only for its historical significance, but also because it's simply an absolutely incredible painting in its own right. I mean, it doesn't hurt that it's also one of the most famous paintings in the world. Fame does increase value for things that are real. See, the Mona Lisa has real scarcity. There is only one, because there was only ever one made. It doesn't have meme scarcity, because somebody decided to only produce one digital token. If da Vinci wanted to paint another Mona Lisa, he would have actually had to physically paint another Mona Lisa. You see, Butler, things don't have value, simply because you made it and say it has value. At least, that's not the way things tend to be. I suppose times change, and now things have value simply because they're declared to have value. But enough about the American dollar, wamp wamp. Speaking of which, any and all recordings of Hauntledge videos compressed to play on a Game Boy Advance cartridge have a value of 1.5 Ethereum per second of video. I would like for guys to get this. Well, be sure to apologize when you put the painting back. He steals a small gold brick, and the creators of this garbage blow 100% of their animation budget within 5 seconds. They say that I'm way too cold. They say that my heart's too froze. <laughs> Better stop it right there. That sounds like a song that'll get me DMCA'd. And knowing the kind of people that made this cartoon, I'm willing to bet any part of this could get me DMCA'd. I wouldn't be surprised if they hacked my YouTube account and tried to ransom it back to me. Anything to make a quick buck, you know? Social media has shown me that NFT people tend to be bad people. He gives his, uh, wife NFT the gold brick, but as it turns out, it's not a gold brick at all. This little lump of gold is actually a device containing the most valuable NFT ever created. Guys, guys, did you know? Did you know NFTs are worth money? NFTs are worth money, guys! Money, money, money! Buy, 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 buy! All you need to know is that it actually is worth more than the entire city of Paris. Guys, 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 I'm being fucking serious right now. NFTs are actually worth a lot of money. You better get one immediately. In fact, in the description, you can follow links to buy the NFTs of the actors in Red Ape Family. Better get on it quick because these things can only appreciate in value. Why? Because I fucking said so, you pissant! Including the Eiffel Tower? Yes, including the Eiffel Tower. What in the goddamn? I thought the video was cursed there for a moment. What? What is this? What is happening? That'll be our ride out of here. That's their ride? So they're shaking from the force of a ship coming in. Why did she stand up? Why are they the only things in the room moving? They have these banana paintings over here that didn't move, and they have this... This, uh, this, uh, th th this, no, it, it can't be. Oh, what's going on, man? Needless to say, this whole scene is very sus. Wait, what? These two monkey NFTs just appeared out of nowhere. Is there a minimum screen time each NFT needs to have or something? Who are these monkeys? Why are they here? Why are they only on screen for a second? Oh right, it's because this is a, sh a sh piece of big pile of shit. Well, at least it made money. Uh-huh. Is there a fucking owl here? Give me that. You know that feeling you get? When you've seen something so ruthlessly unfunny, it elicits the opposite response. I just got that. I shit you not, I thought I was gonna cry a little bit when I saw that scene. I don't know if my body can handle this level of cringe. I think we're in uncharted territories at this point. Ooh, but Hauntledge, comedy is subjective. Somebody probably thought that was hilarious. Well, they're wrong. Completely wrong. I dare say their brain has ceased higher function. The dreadful little homunculi that considered that to be funny aren't even worth thinking about. A drain on humanity, I say. Oh goody, more ads. NBNG is a cryptocurrency and <laughs> youch. Looks like the cartoon here hasn't done them much good. I wonder how much NBNG paid for this ad. Whatever they paid probably wasn't worth it. Except, hang on. Between November 27th and November 29th, NBNG technically doubled in value. It doesn't look like a lot, but if you had $1 million worth of NBNG, then Red Ape Family comes out, now you have $2 million worth of NBNG. You made $1 million. Then you sell. And now where's it at? 
barely a third of its value from then. I'm not insinuating that the people who made Red Ape Family and the people running NBNG are engaging in insider trading. I would never insinuate that. That would be ridiculous. Absurd, even. Madness. And then Donald Trump was there, lamau. Well, I'll be. There's life on Mars after all. This fucking lip syncing has been absolutely driving me crazy, and this scene was the worst offender so far. Why is it like this? Why is it so fucking bad? Well, Haunt fans, I'll tell you why it's so fucking bad. It's because every single frame is an NFT. Guaranteed, hands down. Look, I'll go frame by frame. If this wasn't done to make each individual frame an NFT, then it's just wildly lazy, and I can't really decide which one's worse. There is no actual lip syncing, and if this is their excuse for lip syncing, it's sorry at best. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm still talking about this. This is not a cartoon. There is no actual effort here. This is an advertisement. It exists to make money and do nothing else. You know, I see a lot of discussions online about the idea of media having soul or being soulless, and I've often wondered, what makes something soulful or soulless? How can you tell? Well, friends, I've found it. This is what soulless media looks like. This would be like making a cartoon out of Facebook or Google's dystopian corporate art. At least in the 80s, cartoons that tried to sell kids toys tried to have some semblance of something going on. Because in those days, you actually had to convince people to buy into your product. Did you have a toy idea? Well, you better have a bitchin' cartoon to get kids excited about the toys or they won't buy it. But now? This isn't even a product. This is nothing. It's, it's less than nothing. Well, you better limber up, buddy. We've got a bus to move. Oh, you working for the Buskville Council? What? Oh, you working for the Buskville Council? What? Oh, you working for the Buskville Council? Am I fucking retarded? What is he trying to say here? What do they pay these voice actors in? Dogecoin? <laughs> Here are your documents, my hairy friend. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that's so funny! Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? It was a demon, a little funny. It was funny! It was so funny, uh, Butler! What the fuck? Did you get it was funny, it off, right? Stop that fucking thing! What the fuck, little guy? Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest. I'm gonna fucking cry. I know it might look like I'm taking shit out of context, but I swear to God that I am not. We are gonna party hard, man. Where the girls them there? Oh, here we are go. Oh, sh hey, what is this, man? Bomba clad, man. Who them? Them here, me yard. Me no know you. Did you know those NFTs are for sale? And that's why they appeared. That's why they were there. Yep. I would love to meet the people who unironically enjoyed this cartoon. Really, I would. I have so many questions for them and for their parents, honestly. I want to confront them about their being the reason that God no longer talks to us. Do you think God looks down on us from heaven and laments at what his creation has become? Or do you think he simply abandoned us and we are slowly collecting ethereal dust as we stagnate on the cosmic stage? I think you need to you, you, you act. I, I... Butler, you don't understand. The show is bad. I'm sorry, what? It's over? That's it? Really? This six minute abortion has the audacity to have fucking one and a half minutes of credits. And who do we find in the credits? This shit took seven animators. Seven. Seven animators. What were they doing the whole time? Crack? In the voice actor credits, we have Fuego and Slim. Why even bother crediting these people? Who the fuck are Fuego and Slim? I'm willing to bet those aren't even real names. They're probably Ocean Sea usernames or some shit. It's not like Hauntlich, where you Google it and everything you find is Hauntlich. I couldn't learn more about Fuego or Slim by Googling their names. They're too generic. What if somebody wants to hire them for further... <laughs> for further voice work? I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy shit, look how many fucking usernames there are in the executive producers section. Jesus, it just keeps going. Amazing. Apparently this show, quote unquote, made an assload of money. The NFTs for these apes made something like $20 million. 
I mean, someone bought Piss Christ, that picture of the crucifix and the piss, for like $277,000, and that was, you know, $1999, so. This NFT shit has done an interesting thing to me. It's made me lose my lust for gold, as it were. I hear that this made $20 million, and I'm like, eh, and? NFT people tell me, hey, I just made $20,000 this month, and I'm like, eh, and? You make $50 million stealing credit card information from little old ladies. I'm not gonna, I'm not about to be like, oh, good job, bro, let me suck your dick. I don't know. You didn't make anything. So why, why do I give a shit? And I really don't count Red Ape Family as having made something. See, if you made a cartoon and it was really successful, and then you wanted to make NFTs out of the characters in the cartoon, then sure. Or if the initial idea was to just sell NFTs and you made a really good cartoon to carry that, then I guess I wouldn't complain either. But that's not what this is. That's not what Red Ape Family is. Oh, uh, and in case you were wondering, because I know for a fact you were wondering, you can get these gravity boots as an NFT for your metaverse avatar. You know, Butler, I'm gonna start an NFT project. Butler, people are gonna buy horrid little JPEGs for hundreds of dollars a piece. Why? Because they're NFTs. It's a non-fungible token. Were you not paying attention? Okay, so what is a non-fungible token? It's a JPEG people buy for hundreds of dollars a piece. Why? Because it's an NFT. What's it for? What do you mean? I mean, what is it for? Like, uh, like, what does it do? Sure. Butler, it's an NFT. You can use it in the metaverse. Why would somebody pay hundreds of dollars for a JPEG for Facebook VR chat? Because it's an NFT, Butler. Holy shit. Please pay attention. I'm getting kind of pissed off. Butler, it's very simple, okay? I make JPEGs that are called NFTs, and people buy them for hundreds of dollars each. Yes, but why do people buy them for hundreds of dollars? Because they're NFTs, Butler! I will fucking kill you. People buy NFTs because they're NFTs, Butler. That's all there is to it. You sell NFTs because people want to buy NFTs, okay? What about selling an NFT? NFD? NFT nuts. Thanks for watching Haunt Lich. If it wouldn't kill you, you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Uh, God, I know there's more than that, but I can't be asked right now. Tell people about Haunt Lich. Oh, and be sure to check out my Twitch channel. I stream there. You can join the Discord to get notifications as to when I'm going live. All right, I'm going to bone out before an NFT Bitcoin paid hitman from the dark web comes to murder me in my sleep. Remember the first rule of Haunt Lich. Don't come to Haunt Lich's house or I'll fucking kill you. Have a great day, guys, and look forward to the next piece of premium Hotledge content.